Hey, good morning, everybody. This is The Professor with Day Trading for Success. So today we're going a little bit beyond the KDP margin uh, with a group of people trading AMD for with 1,500 shares. <clears throat> However, the stock moves. It's not as volatile as NVIDIA, so people feel a little safer going higher share size. <clears throat> a lot safer, really, because we don't have the, you know, it, NVIDIA was, I think, a $14 ATR. I think this is a just over $5. So it's really one-third the speed you should expect for movement. So we are planning to go in right around uh, 10 o'clock or a half hour after the New York Stock Exchange is opening, maybe maybe a little sooner if, if a pattern calls for it. Everybody here is ready to rock and roll. So... Um, I say that as I'm checking, but yeah, it seems like everybody. So same with every other stock. It's been a great month for the stock market. Everything's going up. Certainly all the tech stocks are going up. So it's very hard um, for the RV strategy to work as it's set up for a sideways consolidating market. That's why it has large caps. But even these large caps and mega caps have been going up it's just straight up. So we're having to adapt it. Um, and I, I, it's, it's sort of a hybrid of the RV strategy mixed with scalping skills. Most important thing is ATR it is still very, very important and should be laid out the way we always do it. By the way, make sure you re read this disclaimer. Let me get it out of the way. Uh, I'm not a licensed financial advisor. This is basically an entertainment channel with demonstration videos showing you different strategies that you might want to uh, use and adopt. But you should talk to somebody you trust, practice in a sim, and then once you get green for a long period of time using any of these strategies or anybody else's for that matter, then trade lower share size and only trade with money you can afford to lose. Um, so yeah, so the market, the way the market's going straight up, it's very difficult and we have to figure out how to do this. So ATR is really important the way we normally set that up. And you can see there's the ATR high on the one minute here and here's the ATR low right down here. So we already just broke it down. So maybe this will be a day where it doesn't go straight up. I don't know. Um, I did do the Fibonacci's the best I could going on a 30-day range on the five-minute on this one and then a uh, on this other five-minute. I think it's still set at the 10-day. Let me double-check that. Yeah, that was still just, just the other day, two-day, I mean. So two-day on this one, I, did, I went to the pre-market. And really, we got a couple in there, uh, and then we got a bunch below it. Everything's going to be below it, but I did do the extensions on the longer one in case it breaks up high in anticipation of that. But there is... This is the highest the stock's ever been. That's why you don't see support and resistance lines up here or patterns up here. So I do want to talk about patterns. I had a long discussion, uh, back and forth email discussion, and we've been talking about it this morning, about really the misconception about patterns. Now, I don't, I don't have a long time to go into. I, I'll probably go into in depth once I start to trade too. But, you know, the people that... You know, I, I know a lot of traders that would never in a million years come on YouTube, write a book, or tell you any way that they trade. They, they're not going to try to make money out of giving you information how to trade. Good traders, million-dollar <laughs> traders that make millions and millions of dollars, they frankly just don't share the information. That's the way it is, right? Now, you have a few uh, gurus on YouTube that – share and then almost all of them sell courses and nothing against that whatsoever or are selling something else or whatever and that's why they do it you know they they're they're and then a lot of them are natural teachers and i i don't know about a lot of them but there are some that are natural teachers and they want to share and it gives them exhilaration and releases endorphins as it does with me to share information that might be helpful and then think that wow that might be making a difference in somebody's mine right so there's a lot of people that do that but um with i'm not trying to call anybody or, or raise myself above anybody when i say a lot of the stuff that's being talked about is not what you really need to know you know so then i get this hate to me because i'm showing stuff that they're not used to seeing but here's what and, and you should check with the guru that that you that you only want to listen to whatever how do they value patterns? What is it? the entire way anybody trades is based on patterns. 
And I, you know, I touched on this briefly, and people were laughing with me because it was it was sort of like gold, as I said it. It's like the you know the entire stock market. If you don't know patterns, if you don't understand patterns, you're 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 you know at a huge disadvantage to become a successful trader. So what I don't see a lot of traders do is talk about patterns on YouTube, and I don't know why. And I'm gonna talk about it a lot more because it's basically the key. So these multi-million dollar traders, whether they're trading on daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, they know patterns. And what is a pattern? This is what everybody laughed at. What makes up a pattern? What is a pattern? Well, it's something that repeated, right? It's a, it's a repeat. It's a pattern because it's made a pattern. Like it's repeated itself, right? So when I get these people that are saying, you know, that's crazy that you're marking out pivot points where a stock has turned around, you're putting all these lines uh, or the importance. Of, they're basically saying there's no pattern there or they're saying it makes no difference, right? That's what they're saying. Or otherwise, why, why wouldn't you do it? So, you know, I, I heartily disagree with that kind of attitude or anybody who teaches such a thing on YouTube. Yep, I'm going to say not say names, but if you do not go by patterns, if you do, you know, if you're not teaching some sort of pattern in what you're doing, then you're doing a disservice to your viewers. So today, particularly today, since we can't do pivot lines, what kind of patterns can we look for? Well, you have to look for individual patterns in the actual candlesticks. You know, I know they, the, the book just came out. Um, uh, God, what's the name of that book? Uh, the Candlestick Pattern Playbook. Um, and that rates all these. And today, more than ever, with the market going straight up and you're having to rate intraday patterns with nothing long term to go by you need to understand the candlestick panels sorry if i'm sounding preachy um but this is the key guys to everything short-term patterns long-term patterns it's the keys to everything now it's just my opinion who am i i'm a nobody <laughs> you know whatever i'm just somebody who trades and one more voice but i can you know, I'm going to say it with authority, with conviction, you know. This is what this voice believes, uh, and um, I found it to be true, and my associates, you know, who, who trade into the millions of dollars find it to be true, that you need to understand patterns. So please think about that when you're watching here, and I'm going to focus on that more and more and more because I see that there's a huge void in what's out there, in books, and on YouTube. So that's my little niche, I think, uh, to get my education out there. Now, maybe I'm just missing all these channels and you can correct me. And I'd love to have an email exchange if you're telling me about some other channel that teaches patterns. I will call them out. I am not in competition with these people. If they're doing something that I believe that is going to help everybody, I will mention it to my, I'm sure I have less subscribers anyway so who am i to call them out like hey go to this guy's channel you know you more people i'm i'm such a small uh, I, i'm growing but it's very slowly but anyway i just wanted to get that out that um this has become like a morning discussion in my group my sphere that the lack of people understanding patterns it is the key and you know if you just sit down and focus a little bit and get the right books and watch the right people You'll get it. You'll get the patterns, and patterns are everything. And I'm hoping that I can prove that today, right here today, because we don't have any long-term pivot points. So what I did do is I went, these that say open session, these are marked on the five-minute from yesterday pivot points, right? Um, I did set my volume profile a little bit differently, so it's right in here on just a day, not a two-day. So we're right in the center. So I'm I'm using every trick in the book. Of course, I've got the scalpers indicators here, here to go by. Um, and guys, yeah, I know everybody's ready. So we have broken the ATR. We'll talk about this more, but let me just get ready to trade. Um, uh, so sorry if I sounded preachy. I wasn't trying to sound preachy. I just... Uh, so hopefully if you like the content here, you will subscribe. So I'm looking forward to bank off these fibs, guys. Uh, it's already broken the ATR, so do we want a retracement? That's what I'm thinking. We're looking for a retracement 
or it's just going to keep going down. And you know me, I like to buck the, the p- trends. Now I'm not sure. This is on a 15 minute. It's a, it's you know it's very short time frame to call it a trend. But if you had to, a trend going down. But support here is what I'm looking for. And there was a lot of sellers that just came in strong there. So let's see how they react in the next minute here. So they're not exactly coming on strong here. And you're at this fib. I'm, ca- I'm going to call it. So I'm, as people know, I do the quarterbacking. We're 1,500 uh, shares today. We're all only going to trade on market. And I'm looking to, um, yeah, I'm definitely looking to go long here, guys, is the way I'm looking at it. And just see if it just dips a little further right on that fib. Yeah, I'm just going to go in. Uh, sorry, I went in a few seconds early. So I went in on a long position with 1,500 shares. Now I have a max loss today of $1,000 because this is going to move a little slower, not 2000 as I might usually have. So we're not going to get the move. Oh. We're not going to get the moves that we, we normally get. Um, so it broke through both fibs. So I've got it at 68 Yeah, this isn't exactly killing me with its uh, the way it's moving here. It's just sort of uh... oh, I see. I was hidden in the arrows there. That's what was going on. I'm like, where is the? Why isn't this moving? Um... So it broke through the fibs, and it and it looks like it might continue. I would probably hold it in reverse down here, going uh, short. Yeah, now it's on the outer bands of the VWAP right here that's what that is there's your vwap up there this is your 20 this is your nine i don't really have a pattern after that big speech to call here as we opened up so although this could be considered a um uh, a ladder uh bottom now that now that it's turned around that could be a mini hangman maybe um but not really no no it's a doji up there let me get this a little bit bigger here uh, so I can see these a little bit bigger here. Here we go. Okay. So this could also be the beginning of a potential bear flag where it's going to pull back and then come down. So we wait for the second red candle. Um, now, you're not going to see the numbers that we normally see here. Um, let's look at the scalpers indicator because although the buyers are winning out right now, the volume dropped with them. So I'm not high confidence. This is acting sort of more of as a resistance now. The uh, um, fibs, I got double fibs here, which is, you know, that's something that should be considered uh, uh, pretty important here. Um, yeah, it's just stopping at the fibs, guys. I, I'm uh, seriously thinking of reversing. Yeah, I'm just going to take that right there. Um, I went short and banked the small amount of money. Well, that's a good. That's a that was a good bit of money there, right? So, again, it's a different type of trading in here. There's going to be some short term. Uh, what did I get it at? Ninety three. So that's right here. So right in between these fibs could be considered a channel. So we're going to have to scrape out, and our and our uh, spread is much tighter. So this isn't even moving. What's going on here? Come on now, guys. Don't do this now. We can't do this now. This is too tight to not reconcile. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm going to reverse right there. Banking as much as I can because I'm going to anticipate a rough ride here. I know this is hard guys don't uh, this is a hard start I can tell you right now we've got we're having a hard start look at that um, I'm glad I have a little cushion here so I can hold hold here so I'm going to go ahead and mark that triple tap for the most part um, let me reset this
And I can tell that's happening since I've started to trade, a little different than the open session market. Guess I get fooled by that. Um, okay, here we go. So that broke through that now. So now we have a little bit of a different situation here. So this is this is sort of a flat top breakout from this fib. It's not. A, it was only two bodies that stopped there, but that gave it a little ump. See the the difference in the buyers on the scalpers indicator. Um, this is a whole different type of trading than yesterday, guys. So that right there is a tweezer move, which 72% of the time means that it should have gone down. So this pattern did not work for us. This is a ladder bottom, which means it should go up basically the width of the ladder or the length of the ladder. So that pattern is winning out. Um, now, this is another tweezer move. So when they're t lined up bodies, and this one is a bull, and it ended up higher, which means it should be going up. So you got two patterns that say going up, one say going down, and it's, uh, you know, and that's why it's not doing either. It's kind of it doing both and at the same time. It's going up and down. Um, Yeah, I kind of missed that. Uh, I missed that there. I'm going to go ahead and reverse there and bank that 1300 and uh, Come on. I like to look at the ask a lot, and it throws me off. I'm going to reverse again. Ah, oh, see, I even lost on that from some slippage there. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on here, but it's uh, annoying the crap out of me here. It's like stuck on this 90, so I'm going to have to stop looking at that until it shakes itself free of this. This is this is live. This is working. This is working. And the pattern, so you have a morning star there, which signifies a reversal going down, and it didn't go down. Oh, my God, look at that go. 155.40. So 155.50 could be a turnaround there. Just I keep looking here and it keeps throwing me off. So I, I got to look at these two numbers for now. At some point, this is going to straighten itself out. Think or swim sometimes. I want to curse at it. This is this the op this is what this trade is right here. So we are now switching around here on the 15 minute and the five minute, telling us that we have some strength. This is the 20 moving average, and uh, but still very very weak. Broke the 20. I'm not ready to turn around quite yet, but I'm getting close. So this morning star this. Hangman, uh, opposite uh, uh, messages. That is a cat. That means good luck. So, right? So we're going to have good luck. Yeah, I'm getting ready to reverse up here, guys. Um, yeah, I just, I'm going to take that trade just because it's a lot for today's numbers. Let me just get this marked right here. Uh, it's 82. No, okay. Well, I went too soon. Should have waited. I kind of saw these peripherally. I was looking. Look at, see how I have the volume profile set? Look at what it's telling me right here. See how it's coming across to the action, the price action? So um, this is the point of control, the magnet. This is why I reset this. So now it dropped off as it went down. Um, So this is the point of control, or what I call the magnet, and I have changed the setting on this to trade just for today in a different way to help me look at just very, very micro intraday movements here. So um, again, I don't know if I would call that a hangman really because the body's too long. 
but that if it, if we can call it a hangman, I'm I'm focusing on patterns. Okay, so I wanted to call them out wherever I could. <clears throat> that signifies a reversal, and it is reversing. So, and why would it? What makes it come true? How many people read it the same way? That's what makes it come true, right? How many people are seeing the Morning Star, the Hangman, the Hangman again, the tweezer move here that's showing that this is going to go down because the bear is on this side of the bull and they lined up. That means it's going to go down, at least the length of that candle. So now the other thing you're potentially dealing with here, depending on where this stops, is a bull flag, which will supersede. I think they're accurate 82% of the time. This is accurate 72% of the time. This is all in that book, and you really should learn them. Uh, or a book, another, I don't think there's a better book than that, but other books show some of this. They just don't have the rating system. So now, you know, I'm, I'm in anticipation at the end of this move. So we're halfway down this candle. We're leaving the magnet area. I'm getting ready to reverse and then hope that we're about to have it closed red. So I'm going to go ahead and reverse there. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I was going to say, I was going to hope that, that this is going to shape into a, uh, a bear flag, but now it's gone down. Has it gone down more than halfway? Yeah, it has. So it's not really a bear flag anymore. Well, of course, this hasn't closed yet, but yeah, technically, yeah, that's over. All right. So I picked that trade wrong. So I should have waited for this move to come down here all the way. Um, so it bounces off the fib. Let's see what happens. Yeah, you guys did good. I, uh, a couple of you didn't go. It didn't do what I did, which is good for you. Uh, I, I mean, we're doing okay, but um, I'm going to hold through this move at this point. The The worst I would do is cover. I wouldn't uh, count on it going down still. So, you know, if you want to call this part of the flagpole, we, we still have sort of a uh, bull flag here. So, and you have a hangman at the bottom of this red, which is telling you that's a reversal about to happen. So anytime reversal just means go the other way. So that's what we're looking for, go the other way. Man, it just will not leave that. I'd rather have it there, quite frankly, than that's one line off is what it's doing. But these two are lined up. This one is not. Anyway, hmm. so if there, if enough people are going to treat that well as a reversal for a hangman or a bull flag, that means this is going to go up. But we are hitting against the point of control mean average right there. That's what that red line is. So that I was about to say that could turn it around. Now I'm looking for this to turn it around where it didn't break out. Last time, that's 55, 155.82. Um, so if it keeps going up, that's where we're looking for it to lose some of its way up here. Get, um, hit, hit a hard ceiling or just the air is too thin to keep moving up. I mean, we're not getting a lot of uh, – this is why we're trading the stock, right, guys? So it's much slower. We have a lot of time to make a decision to get out if things aren't going our way. Okay, so is it going to slam against that and go turn around? Let's see what it's doing here. Because it might head to the it might head to the ATR. So let's see if it goes up to the ATR, which is 156. Even though it's turning around, is it going to actually going to turn around here? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take that. Bounce it on the. Tw I'm going to reverse again, in anticipation of a long. Because you know what it does here? It, it, it goes up and down a bunch right before it, it makes its move down. So I'm trying to ca catch or, capture a couple of scalps here. See that? Got it again. I'm short. No, that's not what I want to see. Or you go down now. You're at the top. Oh, that's turning green. 
I'm actually going to take a lesser loss and go go long there. I, I, I'm looking at that, and uh, the percentage on the buyers was way higher. So it might actually be trying to break through here. So there it goes. So that's uh, – I, I made a, a little bad trade there right in the middle, but overall. Now we'll look for the ATR to turn it around if it goes up there. And it might bounce between this and the ATR a few times. So let's see. We don't have a viable pattern going anymore. This is this – technically, this is the bull flag. Should use, it should be move the length of the pole. So we're almost there if it completes its move correctly. That's what you go for is the length of the pole. So – It looks like that's the end of the move. It looks like it's not going to go to the ATR. Maybe. Looked like I could have got a short scalp there. This is another hangman. Uh, this is signifying a, a reversal. No, actually, I'm sorry. This is at the bottom. A hangman is at the bottom of the move. So that is not a hangman. Um, hang on. That's too undecisive. Um, oh man yeah so that's a, a, a gravestone is more of what that is hang, hang on now which are not as common but they also signify a reversal so both ways both of these candles told you that this is going to reverse this, oh, so it did hit the one, it did hit the 156. That tells you it's going to reverse too. I didn't actually see it tap it. Um, so we've got a whole bunch saying it's about to reverse. So uh, I'm going to try to capture uh, a scalp in here. Now, if this seems like gambling or happenstance, it is not. It is not. <laughs> okay, guys, it, it is. These, these patterns are here. I'm trying to call them with the lines that I have to show you that there's a higher percentage of likelihood that they will work. I think only one was wrong here. So it's kind of waiting out the move for these, which are saying a certain thing. And that's why having a slower moving stock is, is helpful, you know. Um, okay, it's hitting the ATR again. It's 196. So I'm looking right here at what the market maker is going to give me to get out. Um, if I want to reverse right there, I'm going to see if it breaks it first. It broke it. I'm going to get out right there. What did I get that at? 156.09. So we have a 22. So if it breaks through the 22 up here, a little bit beyond that, you guys going long, uh, a short, I mean. Um, yeah, I guess. Look at here we our volume our volume price is pulling it down here. See it coming across? It's pulling it down. So set your volume profile correctly for intraday on one day. I have a video that shows how to do that uh, under volume profile. Th this is particularly important when we have no uh, pattern, long-term patterns, not even a uh, anything more than yesterday. And and really, we don't have yesterday because we're – well, I'm starting to get some of yesterday's here, yeah. But there's a lot of them if you come up out of this ATR low right here. So below here, um, I mean, we'll start to get them, but it's the day before it went straight up. So you can't really mark – you know, if it's going up 5 bucks with no stopping, there's no real pivot points there. Um you have to have a turnaround, go back, you know, on on the candlesticks. So, um, wow, that's a good that's a good trade there. I should have taken that. Well, that was four hundred bucks a second ago. I just was busy chatting along here, and I didn't see that. I see some of you did though, which is good. Yep, I could have captured that. Then I could have been shorting up here again. So we're right at the level that I uh, shorted. Now it really does look like it's going to 
it really does look like it's going to go up here. So I'm in the wrong position here for this. So I'll wait a second longer here because it's broken this ATR pretty with pretty good amount of strength here. Again, I, I have lots of time to think about this, the way the stock is moving. So I don't, I don't have to rush. I am annoyed I'm missing a few moves because it's all about catching the little scalps and then stair-stepping this, this up. Now, you could do this with 15 shares and you'd have like 30 something bucks or whatever it is so um or or 150 shares so depending on your risk tolerance and then you just need a 100 200 a day 300 a day to make a huge difference in your life to you know quit that second job or maybe only trade you know if you if you show consistent profits don't quit your job and <laughs> uh, you can go on four months run runs of green and then collapse so you know be careful always have uh, something else going on you know not just trading uh, it, it, it takes a lot of the pressure away of um and you guys are doing good it's two of you that are over 4k um, so we have here sort of a flat top kind of not really but if i was looking at patterns you know some gravestones doji this didn't really make a um, tweezer move. It's up too high. I'm going to try to be more accurate with these. So I don't really see a lot that happened here after the uh, the bull flag. Did happen, though. That's a bull flag. Um, and then it, it stalled out right here at the uh, point of control. And this price level that I marked across the top of these where it hit before. Um so now we're going down, which is good. So that's a $400 trade already. Is it going to stop at that line again? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take that, break 4K, and look for it to reverse back up. Now, I know it just broke through there, but, you know, I'm trying. Oh, man, are you seriously going to do that to me? I, um, I'm trying to capture these little... Wow, so I'm going to lose it all. So I just made 400 on that last trade. There's the 400, and it's still going down. Okay, well, split second more. Okay, I got to get out. That was a bad trade. Okay, so I'm out, and I'm short. And now it's going to turn around and go back up, right? Because that's how it works. So, uh... Wow, that was really painful. That's what it is, guys. You know, I do I do definitely push the envelope trying to catch the the moves that aren't really telling me it's the move. You know, so you've seen how I trade. And most of the time it works, and sometimes it does not. So um that was one of those times. Now it's I'm, I feel like I'm on the wrong side of this move now. Like it did its downward move, and now it's about to go back up, and I'm on the wrong side of the move again. And, you know, it just happens sometimes. So let's see if I can capture a green move before I turn around here. Should have maybe just taken it at zero. There's 30. I'll take that 90. Okay, so I'm going to go long. Ugh, too soon, right? Too soon. Too soon. There we go. But I think I think it's about to go back up. So I, I'm uh, now we had almost the same amount of volume with sellers as buyers, just a couple of two minutes apart from each other. So there's a real battle going on here. Um, and I don't have a I have the beginning of a ladder bottom here, which is a pretty good um, pattern. I think it's it's um, like in the 70 percent accuracy. And we have a doji, which means it's going to turn around as well. So this is calling a turnaround. So I'm in the right position, and this is the ladder bottom on the turnaround. So this is two different patterns happening at once. This candle makes a single pattern because it's a doji at the bottom of, of a downward, three downward. So, you know, look in, look in uh, any book you want, and they should call these all out. And the faster that you can memorize these, the better trader you're going to be. 
Now, they're not always going to work every time. And, and what I really like to do is have all these pivot lines um, to, to help me, give me the extra edge about having the patterns work. And as you know, a lot of my videos, I'm not even calling out the patterns because it's kind of a different um, level of trading. Um, I don't know what I was saying. I was watching these guys. I lost track of what I was saying. I don't like to be behind, so, but I'm really glad they're doing well. But I really messed up on that trade because not only did I lose the money, but I didn't make the money had I done the move the right way. So double the like 600 that I lost, it's like 1,200 because I do see some. One person's over six, a couple over five, and I'm glad they're doing so good. Uh, but it pisses me off, I got to be honest with you, just because I called that wrong. I don't like to... I think every other trade I've called right, and that's why my, my accuracy is pretty high. Um, but when I miss them, I beat myself up, you know, because I, I shouldn't have missed that. Or I should have got out sooner. should have got out when it was 100 down or 200 down, not 600 down. So here is an example of, like, don't get caught up feeling sorry for myself. Um, looking at this number. Looking at the $56 now to see as a possible turnaround at the 56 and I just hovered right here where it did a bunch of other times, but it broke it. Okay, so now it's right at the 56 and um, that's the ATR low is at 56. So um, if it breaks to 56, then it's got up here that would be definitely where I would call. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go bigger here because I'm trying to recoup. So I'm going to hold it a little longer, and if I see it drop off that ATR 56, 5608, 569, see right here, this is what the market maker will give me, 34. I'm going to take that. Oh, crap, and it keeps going. What did I get that at? 5640, right? So, so I'm already uh, going the right way here. That was a good one. So I recouped a bit, um, capturing that. Now, that's a new high from where – well, it's not a new high. A new high of its retracement. Um, so it could just keep continue to go here. So I've got to be careful. That's yeah, just so over seven. We got an over seven K up there. He played that move perfectly. Good job. Now could you get a couple wrong so I could catch up, please? Um So three white soldiers, potentially. Sounds like a racist comment almost. <laughs> it's not the way they named them. I didn't name all the candlesticks, by the way. Um, that was funny, though, when they were doing the pattern book, how they were coming across these made-up names that obviously were fairly recently, and people were just trying to make a name for themselves. So they'd see a pattern, and you know, you don't know how many times that pattern. It's like a pattern... Oh, come on. Really, guys? It's like a pattern you only see once or twice. I'll put a name on that. It's like it's not really a pattern if it's not continuing multiple times on back testing. Like you, they couldn't find them. Like I can't find this ever again. It's like this isn't Johnny's, you know, pattern or whatever. They all the different names are like they had their own names on it and stuff. I'm like, okay, this is just stupid, guys. You gotta remember that you can't just uh, mark any pattern that somebody names. It's kind of funny, though. They're trying to get to live on forever by naming a pattern after themselves. Um, Yep, I should have snuck out back there. I mean, this definitely seems like it wants to keep going up. Okay, so there you go with the gravestone. This is a signifying a reversal of going down. So that's what that pattern just told us. So let's see what happens here. Please do what the pattern says to do because I'm not doing well at this trade again. Oh, my God. It's a, I should be happy to make 5K today, huh? Jesus. It's a tough one. I was all uh, geared up to show you guys patterns and 
fifteen thousand dollars of profit. Although I know with this stock AMD that that's not going to happen. I have a nice big cushion to take chances here. Let this go. But I am going to try to get out of this position as it goes down and go long with it. I think I'd feel safer going long the way everything switched along here. Fifteen minute, five minute. Uh, I'm not feeling particularly comfortable with the. Uh, Looking for a dip to get down here and then possibly get down here and then go long. If it gets up here, then I realize that uh, um, I'll go long up there then, I guess, is what I'll do. <laughs> uh, I want it to get up there, but after I have it long. So first come down here and then go up there. That's what we want to happen. So, you know, my beginning points were just basically saying, I don't think there's enough emphasis on patterns. I can't find the people that show them. My people can't find the people that show them. So if you know YouTubers that are showing patterns, I'd love to get emails about who those YouTubers are so I can see what they're teaching. Um, in my circles, you know, I'm kind of a, uh, a little bit of a savant, which means I have terrible disadvantages, but I have, you know, I have certain skills that, as the professor here, that um, I, I, I'd like to try to pass along. And I like to see what other people are doing. I can't stand it when I'm wrong. You know, that whole thing, you're harder on yourself than anybody is, right? Okay, I don't think I'm going to get too much better than this. I'm going to go ahead and reverse there. Um, now, is it going to break that 22? 28, 25. Here's the, here it is, 23, 21. I don't want to see this drop into the teens. I want to see it bounce on that. Open session pivot. I want to see it bounce right there. Come on, bounce up. There you go. There you go. Okay. Let's get it back up here. Let's let's play this channel. So this is the beginning of a of a of a ladder bottom again, which is a fairly common. It reversed when it was supposed to, right there, and it came down, and then. Now we have a nice, this, this has worked a couple times before it was a resistance. Now it's a support. So we're looking for this to do a ladder bottom and get back up here. And then we'll look to this as a resistance because it hasn't really broken this on its retracement. I mean, you know, obviously it was higher than this earlier. What is that at? 61. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that at 60 cents. What did I get at 56? Okay. Uh, it's going to break through that. Hmm, I'm past my time, guys. God, that went fast. That went really fast. Um, I, it felt fast to me. Maybe I'm boring the hell out of you guys. Felt like I got too preachy. I didn't mean to. I strongly believe anybody watching this can do, can trade um, large cap trades and make money with a little bit of practice and following a trading plan and getting out uh, and definitely getting out your max loss. I, I had one bad trade that was way below my max loss. Um, nice. <laughs> that went all the way down to the ATR before I even knew what happened. Wow. I'm just gonna reverse right there. I, I should have reversed way down here, man. That I I was looking I was looking elsewhere, and then I suddenly saw the price here go down, and I was like, "What the heck was that? That happened fast." Is it still gonna go down? And that was a lot of action there. Watch this scalper's indicator here. I'm gonna reverse, guys. I'm reversing on that. 
So I'm going to see if that's going to be a pivot to push it back down again. Let's see what happens. Nice. So I caught it there, but I'm actually thinking, is this going to ride it up here? Look at this come up. Look at the strength of that. It broke the ATR. Yeah, that's why I didn't get out. That is nice. 84, 55, 84, 55, 76, 78, 78. It broke through the 82 line. Is it coming back up? Is that it? 94, 90, 93, 92. I don't want to see it break 56 again. Uh, I'm going to reverse at 56 if it comes back up. 82, 91, 92, 86, 84. Come on, get into the 70s. Wow. The lower this goes, the safer I feel about... Re oh, I'm going to take that. 76. All right. I didn't think I'd break 7K. I could still lose it, but <laughs> I, took, I took a reverse right in here. So now it could go down to like 46. Let me mark that. Well, it could go anywhere, but I'm just looking at uh, likely scenarios. So 55.50... I like the fact that I banked it. Yeah, I'm staying in a little later, guys. I, I'm, I'm five minutes over um, because I liked how this ended up being higher than I I, I feel like I've, it's just been such a struggle to get this this amount of money here. So you look at a pattern. You got to the ladder bottom went up. Then we had almost a tweezer, which signifies it going down. And now I'm just really reading these, these uh, pivot lines and this breakout that was earlier here and where it kind of stopped. Wow. Okay, so it's going the wrong way. Don't lose my 7K. Um, another ladder bottom it looks like if this turns green it's another ladder bottom so and this never reconcile which is really annoying where is that going now and this isn't going Come on, think or swim. Get your get your crap together here. This is actually correct now, and this one isn't. So I've been watching this. Um, and while I'm messing with that, I'm losing my money here. And people are probably screaming at the screen. Again, it's going so slow. That we have time, but I'm going to call it soon, guys. I, I'm kind of way. I was hoping for a bounce here to, to make a little bit more money, but I don't know if we're going to get it. There we go. Can we break the ATR? Are we going to stop right at the ATR? Actually, I'll just uh, sell out if we stop at the. Uh, yeah, I'd like to see 8K there. Is it going to break that? Break 56. There is. It's breaking it. 56, it's breaking it. There it goes. Come on, pound on up there. Now break the 22 mark. This is a this should this is a reversal. Okay, so this doji is signifying a reversal. So it is doing just what it's supposed to be doing. And I will just cover if it gets up here anywhere near uh wow, so there's AK, but I, I could slip, so I'm gonna wait a little longer. It's gonna stop at the 22. You guys riding it long, right? Okay. So you don't want to get caught up in looking at your, your price. You want, to, you want to look at the move, all right? So this move would carry it up to here, this area. If it's, you know, the reversal should carry it up into this area here somewhere, the length of the original move. So that's what we're going to look for. But there's no guarantee of that. Oops, I don't want to reverse. I just want to get out. Yeah, this is my last trade either way, guys. So... 
Yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm getting ready to get out here. Thirty six. I'm gonna take that. Where did I get it? I got it at forty, I think. So I did eighty three hundred. Boy, that's that seemed harder than it should have been. But um, so I hope that calling out the patterns was helpful. And when you saw that I looked and um, was trying to see the overall the way the volume helped it up here and the scalpers indicator. Remember, this is available for free on episode uh, sixty six, and I think eighty three has ten scripts that are free. This is this is our own script from Day Trading for Success that we made for everybody to use for free. This has become one of the best um, indicators out there. So uh, I would get that and because it's, it's not free. It's not some guy hawking it to you for a couple hundred bucks and telling you how great it is. You can see how great it is right here, and you don't have to pay a dime for it. So uh, remember to subscribe and give us a thumbs up just based on that, please. Um, so we can get our message out to more people. And I am going to be – and again, the patterns you just saw me calling – Every one of them is in the Candlestick Pattern Playbook, which is available on Amazon and linked on this video. And don't forget to leave reviews for the, those books that th from the Million Dollar Margin Club. I can't under – it's like a best-selling book that has like six reviews. I can't – it's like weird. But um, I guess people just don't review much. I don't know. It's just generally – I'm guilty of that myself. But ever since this whole thing started um, – or I was promoting, I guess there's a bunch of other YouTubers promoting their books too, because they're really made for traders. Um, and uh, um, now ever since I started, I start, I give reviews for everything, you know, honest reviews, <laughs> but uh, I try to give the five star because I know it makes a difference in those people's lives, you know, unless I don't really don't like the product. And then what I do is I just don't review because I kind of don't want to hurt them. But unless they're just an absolute liar or something, then maybe I might try to hurt them, but probably not. No. Anyway, I want to leave the uh, end of the video in a weird, bad message. So patterns learn your patterns uh so here we go i'm not i'm not trading this but this is showing you a reversal right here this is clearly a reversal here so i'm just chomping at the bit to just take a trade right here but i'm not going to do it no i'm i stopped and that's it but watch this i'll watch you for just a second to see if this follows its pattern if it's going to go down because it should another sign that it's going to go down right here Double whammy here with gravestones and dojis saying we're going to reverse right here. We're going down. Here we go. Come on. Don't make me a liar. Come on. It's going the other way, guys. Well, you'll have to follow this without me and see what happens on this. You can go back and uh, back test this and see what happened here. God, I should have reversed. Oh. All right. Well, you don't get them right all the time, right? All right, guys, be careful out there. Stay green, you know, and uh, I'll see you soon.